Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Jack. And we are here with uh, Len Kavazinski, director of Skull Forests, uh, Swamp Zombies, Fist of the Vampire, uh, Curse of the Wolf. Uh, Len, what are you doing in Milwaukee? Uh, I'm here to help out with uh, Red Lantern Media's Space Cop. Also, a, uh, I guess I'm a special guest, I guess, of Best of the Worst. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> You'll be our guest of the worst. Guest of the worst. <laughs> oh, you know? that's good. Yeah. <laughs> And how did, you, how did you get involved with Space Cop? Mike would have emailed me, I believe, is what we did there. And um, I just said kind of, hey, I'm, I'm a blue collar kind of. I know how indie things run and stuff. and just Or don't run. Or don't run, <laughs> right, both. And how, was Swamp Zombies, that was your yeah. first movie, right? First yes. feature? Why do you sound so disappointed? <laughs> I don't Swamp talk Zombies about is great. Uh, I don't talk about Swamp Zombies. <laughs> Why not? But was that, that was your it's first got cool artwork. <laughs> was that your that was your first feature though, that was or was that your first one to get first, distribution first feature um i always wanted to do stuff since i was little oh, but i never had the knowledge or you know really still might not um have the knowledge to do stuff but um with swamp zombies though the thing the thing with that is though i knew there was still a plan though i mean could we execute that plan no we didn't know what we were doing but we had a plan we knew yeah. we wanted to get a couple name people uh, jasmine st Clair is in the film Jasmine St. Clair is in Swamp Zombies. She has a very Zombies. extended shower sequence. Yes. That goes on for five days. It's yes. great. The thing I get the most flack about, I think, is it's obviously a zombie movie, so it's going to get marketed as like a horror movie. But it, it was meant to be like trauma, kind of funny, campy type movie. Yeah, uh, with action too. Lots of punching and kicking. Well, but still kind of played up to be campy. <laughs> My intention with Swamp Songs before anybody even, before I even thought about signing it, was that we had a plan that we needed to execute. We needed TNA, I wanted fight scenes that I felt like maybe other indie filmmakers couldn't accomplish maybe as good as we could. Was the intention with that to get some sort of yes, DVD distribution? absolutely. And did that happen right away or? Um, Pretty quickly after it was done, within months, okay. it was signed to Brain Damage Films. Welcome, gore hounds. Were you always uh, intending on, on acting in your movies, or was is that just a, a happenstance of, uh, of the micro-budget world? I didn't specifically like write stuff for myself to be in there or stuff, but if it came stuff where there was fight scenes or stuff on Fist of the Vampire in the main fight scene, uh, me and Brian Anthony, who, who fight in a cage at the end of, the, of Fist of the Vampire, I mean, we're all sweaty. It's literally like passing out level in, of heat inside this barn that we set this cage up in. And I, yeah, I do the one flip over his back on the one scene. Well, in the real take, I mean, I landed right on my head. Hence, you get the films you get now. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of choreography and fighting, you are not a movie you're making yourself, but you're currently the choreographer for another film, is that right? Zombie Killers is the name of the film. Um, a higher budgeted uh, film in terms of it is not a micro budget indie type realm. Um, this one stars Billy Zane, uh, Misha Barton, uh, Gabrielle Stone, D. Wallace Stone, um, and that was shot in the Poconos, at least you know my scenes, and I think a lot of it was shot there. Um, I was basically brought in to choreograph a couple fights, one large fight, um, and it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to do. It, it was an eye opener to kind of get away from micro budget indie stuff. But you know, I, for me, fights are fights. And whether it's if I, if I'm doing it for a stage, I've got to worry about having people at certain angles to the audience to make sure it looks like it hits and stuff. A movie, I just say fucking cut. We do it again because that looked like it missed. The goal of every fight is just to make it look as real as possible. And with zombie killers, the, the big fight scene is more of a, and this was what the director wanted, is um, it's more of a like survivalist type fight. Kicks to the groin I could handle as far as uh, me trying to be choreographed. It's always funny. When somebody gets kicked in the nuts, it's always funny. It's, it's about the only uh, physical activity I could handle if I was trying to be a stunt person, I think. But you, the, the, could, you could handle getting kicked in the groin or kicking someone in the groin? Because I can yes. show you how to do that now if you want, how to get kicked in the groin and make it like look good. And stuff. Oh my God. We can do that in takes 
like two minutes. <laughs> it'll, it'll take a long and time. I, I will not potato you. I mean, I'll do it legitimately where it'll, it'll look like you're getting kicked in the groin. Potatoes when you really clo <laughs> clobber somebody. When you really kick someone in the groin, they call it you potato them? Well, it's that if you were to punch somebody too. You oh, know, okay. If you're just potatoing each other, hockey punching each other. Any called potatoing? <laughs> <laughs> Not just groin contact. You could be getting punched in the face or something hey, like why that. Does it, why does it have to always be about groin? I thought that's what we were talking about was, was groin injuries. <laughs>
Uh, it was like Muay Thai, like wrapping, like kickboxing, yeah. wrapping for your hands. Kickbox, yeah. When you oh, so you're not completely covered. You just have you just hands. have like wrap and it and like Fifth Element style wrap a lady's sexy life. <laughs> Fifth Element style. That's yeah. the new mummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> title's good. The rest I don't really know where we're at, but but yeah, the title's good. Bite of the mummy. We'll work on it. <laughs> Do you ever think, uh, like, because obviously working on super low budget movies, you know, you don't have a lot of time, you don't have a lot of resources, you have to do tons of things yourself. Uh, I think this multiple times a day. Do you ever just think like, why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> why, why am I, I gluing cardboard to walls? Well, like, I, what I, am I, I doing wish I could go life? back and collect stamps or something like that, but <laughs> that, that, would, that, would be, that would be a lie though. That would be a lie. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I don't think, why do I do this? But with certain times with scripts and stuff, I thought, man, I just needed my head examined to, to do <laughs> something like this or try to do this. You know, at the end of the day, when you see it and it's together, and, you know, I, I really like, my favorite phases are writing. I, I do like the filming part, but um, I like post-production where I can start seeing things come together because I don't edit my own stuff. I hire an editor to, to, edit, to edit our films. And I like that. I like to step away and get that detachment from it so somebody else can take the footage and do something with it. I think that it would be doing it a disservice at this point if I tried to do it. And then it doesn't have to be all Len all the time. I just want somebody else to come in and say, Len, you know what? I cut this and this shot you love just, just sucks here. <laughs> and that's cool because I want people to tell me, you, you know. So, so when somebody's talking to me, um, yeah, you know, if something sucks or whatever, I have no problem with you saying it sucks. But the, the only thing I can't stand is, you know, when everybody wants to be a critic and say, you know, well, then it just sucks. Mm, it sucks. They'll rip on your stuff, but you're awaiting for their next opus. It just <laughs> never, never happens. So. If, or if they made a movie as brilliant as their comments, we would be flooded with, with wonderful art. Now, if you want to say, well, I lens aspect ratios off it, good, because that helps me. <laughs> That helps me. In the next film, I can say, you know what? I used a Dutch angle shot 35 fucking times in five minutes there. That helps me, and I appreciate that. Yeah. One, thank you for coming. Uh, two, thank you for not kicking our asses. Uh, <laughs> people, well, you know what? In indie cinema, it gets like that because um, some people... Uh, Take it a little too personally with things that, you know, but, but when you get a baby, even if it's Swamp Zombies, you know, you are right, I was writing that, I was making phone calls and doing all this shit for it. And then when you get some idiot that comes out that hasn't done anything or whatever and just <laughs> says, hey, you can see, you know, the boom micer, he's got a pair of different shoes on here that, you know what, uh, okay, dude. You so know what I mean? there's no production me, experience get, whatsoever. Right, no production experience. I came from a background of television, so I wasn't completely brain dead going in, not saying I knew what we, doing, we were doing, because we didn't, movie-wise, it's so different. Yeah. But I knew some things. You know, we've, uh, we've obviously, you know, we've made fun of your movie a little bit. There are technical flaws, but there is a difference when you are a creator and when you are a critic. And, and it's something we talk about a lot because we get a lot of shit for our stuff too, where as a creator, you always have a trump over any critic because you made something. Even though we'll make fun of your movies, we respect you <laughs> as, a, as a filmmaker and we enjoy your movies. We like them, so. Well, that's what it's about. I mean, if you spend 90 minutes and thing, I, you know, then my love starts in like low budget martial art and stuff movies. I know they're not masterpiece cinema, but that's what I love. Mm -hmm. I love, you know, low budget post-apocalyptic movies from the 80s, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. And that's not masterpiece cinema. Nobody's gonna get an award for acting in any of those movies, <laughs> you know? But uh, they're fun to me. Is it